Hola friends, Brendan here, Dad Planet, bringing you another What's Sold on eBay video. This time we are covering the first week in May, May 1st through the 7th. And we're gonna talk about what a summer slowdown actually is or what a summer slowdown actually isn't. So you'll probably be surprised. We're gonna talk about that for a little bit and we'll get through 15 bolos for this week in May. And then after that, let's talk Squishmallows and then let's talk Not So Mystery Mystery Box. All right, same old story. May 1st through the 7th, 2100 in gross sales, 1300 in net sales. My selling costs are out of control. It is a sea of blood if you look at all this red. Whatever. What can I tell you? It's just a slow period right now and and I like want everybody to kind of repeat after me. There's no such thing as a summer slowdown. Repeat after me. Say it again. There's no such thing as a summer slowdown. It's not slow because summer is approaching. That assumes that overall transactions across all categories, all platforms slows down. And there really is not a ton of evidence that I'm finding that that's the case. Listen, if you're selling game cubes, you're gonna be busy every single day, right? There's no such thing as a summer slowdown. You sell winter coats in June, you're gonna get slow. So I don't make any excuses for myself. I don't want you guys to make excuses for yourself either. We're just maybe not selling things that are as in demand as uh, what we currently have in our inventory. So, okay, accept the, it is what it is and kind of move on. So that's, well, that's what I'm doing. Anyway, first one here, Fisher Price Halloween. I mean, it was a Halloween item, so I had to pick it up, $3.99. I may have actually passed this, you know, if it wasn't a Halloween related item or was like a nativity for, for Fisher Price, I may have passed it up. But I picked this one up, it worked, it was cute and I sold it for $27. I think I had it listed for 30 and I took an offer. So 27 bucks, they paid 11.75 in shipping. So the buyer is 38.74 all in on this one. And at $4, I uh, I don't know, I kind of loved it. So trick or treat, surprise, Halloween, I'll take you through some pictures and oh look by the way, it wasn't uh, in perfect condition. So uh, but it worked and it sounded really cute. So just a neat piece, clean battery compartment and we will move on to the next one bke buckle what style jake bootleg these are 34 regular uh bke sold it buckle bolo brand for sure i show the inseam measurement pictures are very simple high sky taken on a sunny day all be all bke stuff keep your eye out for jake bootleg just one of a, a number of styles that does really well uh in the resale market for for this brand so keep that on your radar we'll move on to the next one i've had this for so long i don't know that i would buy this again although rowenta is a really good brand so they make a quality product and it holds up to abuse for the most part so i think you know i was just giddy at the time and not knowing any better because i'm pretty sure i have this for a really long time but it's a rowenta pro master iron model dx8800 buyer wanted me to ship it overseas i said uh no thank you and it ended up going to doral florida so i don't think it was the same buyer i don't know if they've got facilities in different locations but I don't really ever pay attention to that. Isn't that weird? Like, I know a lot of people, are, they, they look at who purchases their items. I never pay attention to that. Like, it could be movie studios, celebrities. I never pay attention to it. I just ship it, and I'm on to the next thing. So um, I don't know if I would purchase this again, but I got full price for it eventually. And the buyer paid $14.65 in shipping for the iron. So it's $49.64 total pre-tax. It cost me $6.99. I mean, it looks like a nice enough iron. Scan Rowenta irons because again, they're well made. There's a market for them, but it's hit or miss. This one, uh, you know, eventually sold, but and maybe I could have lowered the price and sold it sooner. Who knows? But it sold. I'm happy with that. We'll move on to the next one. I guess I got kind of lucky here because the buyer that purchased these bought both of them. So they're new wave um, induction tops and they were brand new. So both of them came looking like this and they were marked uh, $12.99. So I paid $25.98 for both of them and I priced them very aggressively. So they sold quickly uh, both at $55. So $110, $21.55 to ship, $131.55. The buyer is all in. Anytime you see an induction cooktop, if it's in good condition, look it up. If it's not in good condition, eh, I mean, you can case by case scenario, I say that often, but 
it's in good condition, look it up, because I've sold a number of these before for high dollar amounts, both pre-owned and new. I got aggressive with these ones, they sold quickly, that's exactly what I was looking for. So I'm happy with that, so keep your eye out for, for those, and we will move on to the next one. This iVac is a um, uh, touchless sensor, it's almost like a dust bin. You sweep your vacuumed particles up into it and it sucks it so you can do it without um, having to bend over and use a dustpan or a dust mop whatever you call it so it's kind of cool i took video of me using it so it worked well and then it eventually sold and there's a market for them so this one also sold for 55 bucks and then uh, no i'm sorry i got 49.50 for this one and then 18.36 the buyer paid in shipping so there's 67.86 all in it cost me ten dollars and I'm happy with that. I have since sourced another one that's sitting in my garage waiting to be tested long past the 24 hours that they give you to test these things. I'm a little bit behind on some things, but oh well. Uh, I mean, I'm not ever gonna make excuses, but keep your eye out for these because this wasn't a one-off sale for me. It's a Bolo, and the model number on this one is, I don't know if it's the same as the other one, EVH. The one that I have in my garage is like all blue, so I have to check and see if it is also EVH, but um, $55, $60 when you sell them, so keep your eye out for that. I think the video probably helped. Um, it's sensor operated, so make sure you test it thoroughly. I don't think you necessarily have to upload a video like I did, but it uh, it can't hurt you if you if you want to take it that, that far, so keep that in mind. We'll move on to the next one. Adventures of the Great Brain, John Fitzgerald. I can't tell you anything about it. I didn't do any research to educate you on it. Um, I just did comps when I was in store. It was marked as a set for $4.99. It looked old. It looked like there was a market for them. I held on to them for quite a while, and they eventually went overseas at full price. So $79.99 with $4.99 in shipping. So the buyer is $84.98, pre-tax, pre-customs, five bucks for me. This was a great, much needed, well-deserved, I think, sale but i can't tell you anything about it. i've never I, I don't even know what it's about maybe if you know what it's about let me know in the comments because i uh just blazed through it and, uh, but i got it sold that's what it's all about we'll move on to the next one this is an interesting sale so revel deals wheels the Z Z Z Z Z. I think it's eight z's uh dash 28 model kit this is so this kit these pieces from this this model set were from 1970 there's been a remake of them since, but this was the these were original parts, and I found them at the bins in you know like a plastic sandwich bag, and I I just I didn't even look it up I, because it was so light and the bins like a, what a buck sixty nine a pound where I where I source, so or at least one of the bins there's an, there's another one that's a, a little bit farther away I'm not sure what that is but this was a buck sixty nine a pound so I'm pennies into it and I just thought you know what because it's a bolo for the original. Maybe somebody needs these parts. And it I'll tell you what, it sold like within the hour of me getting it listed for 30 bucks. Um, so the buyer paid $3.99 in shipping and they're $33.98 all in pre-tax. I couldn't believe how fast this uh, this sold. So, I mean, clearly pre-owned, but just a bunch. And, and again, I didn't look it up in store because I figured this isn't really going to cost me anything on a per pound basis because it's so light. So if, it, if there's nothing to it, I'll just throw it away. And it sold for $30, paid for basically my entire trip to the bins that day. So, I mean, keep your eye out for old model kits. You know, this one has a following for sure. And there's been a couple of sales, I'll put them up on the screen, in the past 90 days for this specific model, as well as the updated version. So if you wanna really keep your eye out for this one in particular, go for it. But old model kits, always scan them because there's lots of diamonds in the rough there. And we'll move on to the next one. I found one of these, is it Miley, Millie? I don't know how you pronounce it. Um, va uh, upright canister vacuums and I still have the base unit the motor unit that I have parted out for $100 and then like the stem the wand I think I parted that out as well and then this piece as well this little attachment and uh, I sold it for $50 and I didn't even really bother cleaning it I mean if you look at these pictures eh, you know I could I could and I, often when I'm selling vacuums i will go in there and clean them thoroughly i will pull everything out of there for whatever reason i must have been moving really quick uh on this day because i didn't really bother but it still sold for fifty dollars and the comparables told me to part this out there was m more money and you would probably still do well part out value kind of like the rug doctor i talked about last time 
um, than selling the unit complete. So got 50 bucks for this one, and I'm, it's just a matter of time before that base sells because I've seen some of the base sold selling parts only. The last one sold for I think $130. I have mine listed for 100, so it's just a matter of time on that for sure. So that was that was pretty sweet. Buyer paid 10.75 in shipping. There's $60.75 all in. The entire unit cost me $20.20. .20. So $150, and I don't remember what the wand attachment is. $25. I mean, do the math on that. It's pretty good. A pretty good spend for 20 bucks there. So we'll move on to the next one. Always so always look up uh, Brooks, especially the Ghost. This is a size 13. They were in fabulous condition. No issues on the uppers. Uh, soles. Let's get you a picture of those. Brooks Ghost 13. The soles look fantastic. Was it size 13 also? Yes, yeah, size 13 with the very good pre-owned condition. You know, I could have put excellent, but they sold for uh, $51. I took an offer. And the buyer paid $11.10 in shipping. So they're $62.10 all in. They cost me $4.39. Shoes are so simple for me. So I've been hunting them down left and right between the stores, the bins. Uh, you saw me at the last garage sale that I went to. I got a couple of decent pairs. So uh, I'll move on to the next one in keeping with the shoes theme. Now, the reason I know Clark's Wave Treks are a bolo is because I sold tons of them brand new Amazon FBA. And I've sold tons of them brand new also on eBay. So I'm out of all of my old Amazon inventory from going from uh, selling them to getting suspended to removing all of my inventory from FBA warehouses and then housing it in my basement and then selling off what I had on the next platform for me, which was eBay. But Wave Trek is a bolo. This is a well-made shoe and they sold like crazy when I sold them on Amazon. So those are two very different markets and the buyers act differently again, especially when you're talking uh, new versus used, not to mention you know a million other ways that they're, that they're different in the way Amazon conditions their buyers and uh, the way the eBay pre-owned market works but this is a high quality shoe so I knew I could do well with it and there weren't a ton of comps for this style which surprised me because I know how many I've sold so I listed it for 35 and they sold for 35 um, actually let me get you a picture of the soles let's I mean just you know up up down and around in fantastic condition there's a picture of the soles for you style code on the inside 35 bucks 855 in shipping so their buyers 43 54 all in cost me $4.39 just like the last pair. So keep your eye out for this style. You also look for the Prevo Takini style for Clarks. Those were even more popular on Amazon and I've sold a ton of them on eBay as well. So keep your eye out for P-Takini and then Wave Trek when you're talking about Clarks sneakers. I'll move on to the next one. These little, actually my oldest daughter found these little M&M dolls. Ashton Drake, the artist is Sherry Ron, I believe. And uh, this was the brown M&M color for this little doll. It comes with like a, I think this is either a certificate, yeah, of authenticity or a birth certificate. But um, these are cute. They're, this box is really small. Like we're talking palm of my hand small. And I have all of the colors, uh, brown, pink, red, yellow. I, I think I still have to list the red color actually. But this is the second one now that I've sold uh, new out of the box. So I got $29.99 for this one, $3.99 in shipping, buyer is $33.98 all in, cost me $3.99 for each one. I think I sold the blue one for $26, some, somewhere around there I took an offer, but what a cute find and just you know sitting on the bottom shelf in like a random area and I saw my daughter playing with one of them. So we looked them up and you know six, seven dollars later we got a bolo on our hands. So keep your eye out for these little, you know, like M&M &M collectibles for sure, but for whatever reason these little Ashton Drake dolls uh, are a hit. So look for them when you are out in stores. We'll move on to the next one. These LLB rolling adventure bags are phenomenal. They're well made. They're like, it's nice, heavy, strong canvas. And I sold the orange one that had flowers on it. For those of you that have been following me for a while you remember that one and then now I sold the green one I got uh, 51 for this one I think yeah 51 and then 20 bucks to ship so the buyer is 70 83 all in I think it was 599 this cost me I think it was regular price uh, luggage whatever at whatever store I was at so it's either 599 or 699 but these rolling adventure bags and you know a couple of videos ago a couple of what sold ago I sold some to me luggage so it seems like the luggage is picking up slowly but surely as the like rules of the pandemic loosen and travel happens a little bit more. So don't uh, don't hesitate if you were in the past 
sourcing your travel components like luggage and bags and all of those things because uh, it's working for me. So hopefully it'll work for you too. But yeah, $52 for that one. Really nice sale. Got positive feedback. It went you know just a couple hours away to somebody here in Ohio. So that was pretty sweet. We'll move on to the next one. Disney Descendants. I'm not uh, really familiar with. I think it's, it's, my daughters are too young for this show now. I, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe, but if it's the teenage crown, we're not there yet. So uh, this is Mal, um, Mal, Doll. I don't Mal, Mal. You, some of you are going to know this as if I'm butchering it. I apologize. Um, she's huge, 28 inches. And uh, I had her for three or four months. I had it listed for 50. I took an offer of 42.49 with 13.31 in shipping. So they are 55.80 all in. She cost me three dollars and ninety-nine cents. I also just recently received positive feedback from the buyer of this doll. Very, very cute and very, very big and in awesome condition for finding it at a thrift store. You know, sometimes it's hard to find all of the components. She's got her backpack. She has her shoes. Her hair is not, you know, like totally destroyed. Probably needs a little bit of work here, but you know, doll's probably hard enough to find that somebody was happy taking a stab on it as evidenced by the positive feedback. So uh, when you see that, I know there's a, if you're sourcing Monster High dolls for sure, people will tell you that the condition of the hair really, really matters. That there is probably some truth to that, but don't let the fact that a doll like has like, I don't want to say questionable hair like her condition, but if it you know kind of looks like that, don't hesitate to purchase those. Right, they're they're so few and far between that a lot of people are going to like take the loss on the hair condition because of the scarcity. So the same may have gone with this doll too. So don't hesitate on these things if they're not in absolutely perfect condition because they're hard to find and people would rather have them in their hands than not have them at all. So you have to accept some of the condition issues that come with Monster High dolls in their hair and it being messed up from time to time. So keep that in mind. Next one, Peter Millar, Summer Comfort. My wheelhouse price for these shirts is 30 bucks. Uh, let me show you the tag for those that maybe aren't familiar with it. It says Summer Comfort right underneath. This is a size large. The XLs, the two XLs probably do a little bit better or sell with maybe more frequency, but a large is perfectly fine. I used the keyword Carolina Blue and uh, stripes, stripes, especially Ralph Lauren's stripes. If you have a striped shirt, don't ever forget to put that in as a keyword because that is a highly searched key term for Ralph Lauren polo shirts and also Peter Merlar. So this was a size large, sold for full price with $3.99 shipping, $33.98 buyers all in. It cost me, I wrote $4.39, but I think shirts are $4.99 at the store that I purchased these at. Um, $4.29 or $4.99, I'm pretty sure it's $4.99, but um, Great sale, and now's the time. Like the golf stuff should be flying off the shelves. So, Peter Millar, Summer Comfort, Nike Dry Fit Tour Performance. That's another one that you want to look for. Look for those shirts as well, especially if they're striped. Keep that in mind. And then again, the the uh, larger sizes do very very well. The two X, the three X, and above. And I have one more left for you. I do not remember where I got this. I don't remember what I paid for it. I think it was probably in like a bag of a bunch of colognes and perfumes that I picked up. Um, Gambler Musk by Jovan Splash. Very old, smelled fine, not rancid, and all, you know, almost completely full. I, this, I sat on this for quite some time. This was a first time buyer that made this purchase, but I eventually sold it and I got 40 bucks for it with uh, $4.99 in shipping. So buyer is $44.98 all in. Let's call this a dollar, $2. I have no idea, but um, yeah, 15 more for you. Thanks so much for checking those out. Now, let's take a look briefly at what's going on in the Not So Mystery mystery box. Okay, so what have we added? So four pack of Garbage Pail Kids Chrome. I spent $20 on this pack. I went to a retro toy store in downtown Columbus. I may upload that video so that you folks can see it. It was, pretty, it was a pretty fun experience. I feel like the last one of these packs sold for like $30, $35. I got to check again, but um, an unopened pack of these, even just with four cards, I think you can get $30 for. Light, small, we'll throw those in there. Burks, these are like, you know, slides. These are Madrid, I think these are called, Birkenstocks. I'm pretty sure you could probably get, uh, you know, $15 to $20 for those. I got a Bolo brand here for you. These are Topo, Topo. These are Phantoms, Men's. I'm not sure what size they are. They're in excellent condition. Uh, I think you can get $45 for those. And then last, we're gonna talk about these little guys here, Squishmallows. So I have a video coming out about Squishmallows that you're probably going to not wanna miss. So I suggest you make sure you're subscribed for that. And then of course, 
if you want to win this box, uh, you have to be subscribed again to take this bad boy home once I have it filled. But we're going to talk about Squishmallows here. I have a lot of five of these mini ones. Conservatively, I price mine at 10 per but you know, five to ten dollars, you could lot them up and make it easy on yourself. So on the high end, you could get fifty dollars for those. On the low end, you could get twenty-five if you, uh, you know, depending on how, how you want to price them. But I always, I always shoot high for me. So let's call that fifty dollars if you do it for ten. And this little Jelly Cat Chicken Plush here, the last comp, I will put it on the screen. I think it sold for around thirty dollars. So if we're at fifty, eighty. 125 if you sell those for 45, 145, and then 175 in addition to what? The $250. We are slowly approaching $500 for this box uh, and it is not even halfway full. I'm very, very excited about that. All right, thank you so much for tuning in. And again, Squishmallow's video that's coming out soon. Make sure you are subscribed for that. And then of course, I'm trying to grow the community to 3,000 members. So once we get to 3,000, I will give this box away. We'll do a whole video on it. And oh, by the way, I'm going to add an actual mystery item for the winner. So once I unbox it and you've seen everything that there is to see in there, hopefully that will kickstart your business and get you kind of rolling or or just take you to the next level as you know, a thank you for from me to you. But I'm gonna throw a surprise in there as well, just so it is in fact an actual mystery when it lands on your doorstep. So that's all I have for you today. Thank you so much. Brennan here, Dad Planet. Appreciate all of you, and we will see you in the next video.